This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. Hello, you guys. Uh, my name is Jessica. Um, I have called in before, but I, I was driving to work and I was listening to you guys, and I wanted to call in with this. Um, so <clears throat> have had, ha- I have had animals for the majority of my life, owned them, meaning, um, had a dog, um, uh, her, her name, it was Max. I know that's weird for, but uh, her name was Max, um, had her for about four years. We live out in the woods. Um, so she had free range of the yard. Um, we did have an electric fence, but she had lots of acres to run, and she would do that. Um, very well trained, love her to death. Um, so she would love to enter the house to the back of our house, which was a screened in vent, uh, porch. Sorry about that. Um, a screened in porch. And so she would just come through, she'd push through the door. Uh, by opening the door with her nose and then just sit at the back sliding doors and she would just give one scrape or two scrapes and let us know she's there and she wanted to be in. So we would let her in. Um, And this has been like that way her whole life and it worked out very well for us and so forth. So um, she was very, very well trained. She, she, we could let her outside and not have to really keep an eye on her. She was that good. Um, But one day the, Electric fence stopped working for whatever reason. Um, I think we might have lost power or something because of the storm. Anyway, so she got loose, um, and she decided she was going to go run around in the woods. And for close to 24 hours, we were putting signs out and, you know, asking anybody if they'd seen her and, you know, calling local places. Um, and then I came home from work the following day, and she was just sitting in the yard like she didn't do anything wrong. Um, so we then took her to the vet, made sure she was okay. Cause we hadn't seen her for 24 hours. Didn't want to make sure that anything was wrong. Um, so then about two weeks later, um, I come home and Max was dead. Um, it was a horrible, horrible thing. We had no inkling on why she passed away. I should have gotten an autopsy. I didn't, but, um, she was young. She was healthy. Um, we think she got into something that just wasn't caught when we took her to the vet um, and she had eaten something because it was about two weeks after she that incident happened that she passed away. And it was very heartbreaking for my family. Um, anyhow, what I'm getting to here is that was roughly about four years ago. And to this day, every now and then, myself or my children will be in the living room or in the kitchen that is the closest to the screen, uh, the screen porch. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. We will hear that door, that screen light wooden door open and then close just one time. And I can't tell you how many times I've gotten up out of the couch or I was, you know, cooking dinner and I hurry up and ran over to the sliding glass doors and opened up the blind because I want to catch a raccoon, a squirrel, a mouse, the wind, something opening that. Because it's not just a little open and closed lightly. It's when you open it, it's wood on wood. So it does that light slam, just like a, a porch, um, a screened in porch door would do. Nothing. It's even gotten to the point that I put a lock on it, like a little hook lock, just something very little, nothing major. Um, still happens. We now have put cameras all around the house, not just the you know, screen porch, not just for this, but all around the house, just for security reasons. Um, we have caught uh, mice on it and things like that. Um, but... I have been sitting there and, and I've heard the door open and close and immediately looked at the camera and there's nothing. The camera has recorded nothing. There's nothing on the camera live. It's nothing. Um, so I finally just come to the conclusion and it took me a long time to really like put two and two together. Um, but I honestly think 
that it is Max's energy that comes through that por- that porch door. Because I haven't caught anything. I have no logical reason for it, even though I've tried several, several times. Um, I'm always open to logical reasons for things. Um, but, yeah. So I thought that was a nice little story, and I thought Carol would enjoy that, too. Um, I don't know. Is it myself making myself feel better or what have you? Maybe, but it's happening. It happens often. And to this day, years later, I still have no no reason for it. I will say that it, it's happening less now, but um, she is she is buried on the property. Max is buried on the property too. Um, so I will say it, it doesn't happen as frequently. It's maybe now like every two months, where before it was it was way more often than that. Um, I'm, so I mean, I thought that was that was a good thing. She's she's around. She was a great dog. She was very intelligent. Um, I don't know. I think her energy is just every now and then visiting. Um, so that was nice. You guys have um, a great day. Wish you all well. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you so much. Bye. This has been a grave confession from the Grave Talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll free eight 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 ghost thirteen. That's eight 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 four four six seventy eight thirteen.